Some recent studies have shown that children brought up by two lesbians do better than their classmates across a range of measures. Is that a surprise? And where does it leave dads? The Reverend Sharon Ferguson says this should make us stop and think. She's head of the lesbian and gay Christian movement. She's also been a foster mum. Here's our her Sunday stand. I believe it only makes common sense that lesbians are better parents. We know that children flourish most when they are brought up in a loving and stable environment. And research has shown that it's predominantly the female parent that provides that stability. At the risk of stereotyping as well, we know that women are also socialised to be the main caregivers. So if you have two women bringing up children, it's just common sense that you're going to get double the dose of that love and stability that is so important. And common sense has been backed up by scientific research. The research has clearly shown that children brought up by two women have fewer behavioural problems, they have fewer psychological problems, and their self-confidence and their self-esteem is much higher. I myself have been a registered foster parent for many years and also been in a relationship where there were four children, the youngest of which is now 22 and she's an MA qualified professional and has been in a steady relationship for the last six years with the man she intends to marry. Yes, children of lesbian parents are likely to be teased and bullied because their family makeup is different from the majority. But then what child doesn't get picked on for some reason or another, whether it's because they wear spectacles or because they have ginger hair or they have spots or whatever. It used to be that children of divorced parents and single parents would be picked on. Now that's commonplace. And so it's up to us to educate our children that families come in all shapes and sizes, not just a mummy and a daddy, 2.4 children and the red setter. Well, Douglas Murray alongside me here is gay and takes issue with that argument. But what do you think? Can lesbians make better parents? If you have a webcam, go to our website now and click on the video call link to join the discussion this morning. You can also make your point by phone, by text. You can email us or contact us online and all the details on the screen. And Douglas, I'll come to where you take issue in just a moment. But Reverend George Hargreaves, um, uh, Reverend Sharon Ferguson describes a double dose of female love and stability. It sounds like the perfect recipe for parenthood, doesn't it? In her piece there, she used the word common sense three times. Mm -hmm. And if ever there was something that was not common sense, this is it. It's, it goes against the natural order of things that you would want to say that two women are better than a man and a woman bringing up a child. Mm -hmm. It's not common sense, it's nonsense. And I, I don't know which well, study that you're... Uh, the research you're showing, is it? The so, research over you know. thousands of years of nurture of children will show you that, as God intended, you have a, a mother and a father to nurture children and give the certain things that come from a male input and the certain things that come from a female input into a well-balanced uh, human being. No, I'm not, that, that, that's not to say that in, in cases where, where there are a male and a male and a female and a female for one reason or another, and there could be other reasons apart from sexual um, preferences for that, that a child comes out okay. But you can't say it's common sense. Okay, uh, and it. I'll let Reverend Sharon Ferguson answer that in just a moment. I just want to find out what Douglas Murray thinks as well. I suppose two, two things. One, one is the first, first thing. Is I suspect that the, the evidence that, show, that, that you cite uh, it might, might be slightly, as it were, warped by the following, which is that, in, in my observation, uh, uh, gay couples who have children, adopt children, uh, are, is it what, well, let's, let's not be too anatomical, but you don't suddenly discover, if you're a gay couple, that one of you is pregnant. You don't accidentally uh, There's not an accident, uh, accidental pregnancy, as it were. Uh, gay parents tend to have thought about it for a long time, to have planned for it, to, uh, a lot Absolutely. of expense at some time. So th to that extent, it, it's more likely the child is going to be prepared for mm. in that way. Yeah. But there's a, there's a second thing, I suppose, is just a tactical thing, as it were, which is I, I have a problem with, with your, your thesis, which is this, is that uh, gay equality was argued precisely for that equality, mm -hmm. not worse than anyone else and not mm -hmm. better than anyone else. And would to that you, extent... Would you rather, to be able to say, 
gay parents can make great parents I and leave it at that absolutely, rather absolutely. than they, they, can, they can be as good as caring, but it, I think it's an insult to the straight community as it were, okay. across well, the country. Two very um, distinct you know. perspectives there, Reverend Sharon yeah. Ferguson. How do you well, if, uh, if, I can, if I can deal with uh, Douglas's point, first of all, I, I would absolutely agree that, uh, which is what I was saying at the, the end of uh, my argument there, is that um, you know, families come in all shapes and sizes mm -hmm. and all sorts of families can be absolutely wonderful and positive and I'm certainly not saying that heterosexual families are, are bad in any way shape or form and I'm not saying that two gay, gay male parents would be bad either unfortunately you are saying that two lesbians are better than everything what I'm else. saying is that the research it's common the research sense. has Hang shown on. the research has shown that Which children research? brought up by by two two women by two lesbians uh, are actually psychologically more stable and have fewer behavioral problems now I think there's a lot of reasons for that to be the case and I think part of that is one what Douglas was saying that that, that uh, usually when a gay couple take on the responsibility of parenthood they have given an awful lot of thought mm -hmm. to that process and they are prepared to put an awful lot of energy into it it doesn't happen by accident mm -hmm. a lot of heterosexual families come about by accident that's the nature of, of things well, research research research. Research. you must you must support a study which shows that any parents show good attributes as parents I mean we can learn from any study Listen, can't we? The, the firstly there are studies that counter this study which uh, presumably is the one that was done for Stonewall and that's a, a, a clue for you that there's an agenda there. I think Douglas makes... Well, this study wasn't done for Stonewall. This study okay. wasn't done for Stonewall. Okay. This, is, uh, this is totally independent research. Douglas makes exactly the point that I would want to make. There's been a fight for gay equality. Mm -hmm. And Christianity talks about equality. God is not a preferrer of persons. Equality is something that well, we go for. The church is. Yes. I'm talking yeah. about Christianity <laughs> as I know it, and I'm a theologian and an anthropologist, so from an anthropological standpoint, I can tell you that what you're saying is nonsense. But what I'm trying to say here is that it's one thing going for equality, the next thing is to be saying that we're superior in some way, and that's simply we're not... not the evidence is superior. Well, no, we're exactly not saying that we're superior your, at all. In your, piece, in your piece, you said it's common sense that two lesbians will make better parents, they'll come out with better outcomes. It's not common George, sense. Is it it's not common nonsense. sense that a baby that is planned and wanted might have a better upbringing than that's, a baby that's uh, not. I, I can agree with that totally. Well, then that's, oh, no, then that's, on, that's on, one on, of the things that Sharon said. There's, there's, there's but, more important, no, there's more me, important thing answer, to be argued uh, here. Uh, answer the question. Are you suggesting that heterosexuals don't have planned and wanted babies? No, no, no. The, the point, the point, that's not the point. The point is simply that, that in, in, uh, in every case, a gay uh, adoption or parenthood is going to be planned. It yeah, was simply saying that it's not planned in every single heterosexual case, and that is, that's the point you'd at least admit. Well, I wouldn't buy the idea that in every case, um, even if it was planned because of the reasons that you've said, that they've, they've decided they're going to do the IVF or so on and so forth, that by the time the, the, the baby arrives, that, that dynamic is still working through the whole uh, nurturing Mind you, Sha uh, Reverend Sharon, yeah. I can imagine lots of parents at home of unplanned, unwanted children exactly. would argue they are just as good a parents uh, uh, well, when they learn the research is not saying that that's not the case. What they are saying is because so much research and, and, and so much rubbish has been thrown out to say that, that children can only be brought up healthily in, in, in an opposite gendered parenting situation. And what this research is showing is that that is not the case. But my, my, my main point here is the fact that we shouldn't actually even be discussing whether or not lesbians make better parents. What we should be actually discussing is what is it about that lesbian relationship, about their parenting that is different, that is making them better parents, that Let's is causing find out those from, children yep. to actually be more stable, so that we can then all, all parents, can actually adopt yeah. that type of parenting okay. so all our children can benefit. Let's, let's speak to Sarah Garrett, who is a lesbian and is a mum. Um, does your sexuality, uh, Sarah, make you a better parent? Um, I think it's, like, the um, confusion is, I think, I wouldn't say lesbians are better parents. I don't want to undermine all the great parents out there who, um, you know, bring their kids into loving households. Uh, what I would say is, you know, lesbians are on a par, and I think the problem is, society's point of view is, although it's changing and, like, how divorced single parents have become more no normal now, um, I think society, sections of society are starting to view um, lesbian mums as becoming more the norm and they're seeing it's more visible so there's, you know, less hostility and I think that's the hardest 
um, problem that lesbians come across. I wouldn't say lesbian mums were better parents at all, because I think that's undermining all good parents out there. I would say um, lesbian parents, actually, they do think it through, and they are emotionally ready, and they consider having a kid, and they're just as good as other parents who bring their kids into a lovely household. Uh, Anna Carlson Hislop uh, runs Lesbians and Gays Everywhere. Um, Anna, your mother came out uh, as gay when you were seven years old. Did, did that make her a better mum? Um, well, what I'd say is that the quality of my mother's parenting didn't suddenly change when she came out as a lesbian, um, which was a couple of years after the divorce from my father. Um, but the, So the lesson I take from my own upbringing and from talking to other people in um, uh, similar situations uh, is that... Um, uh, the quality of parenting is down to personality and things like that, not to gender and sexuality. And also, just to come back on the research point, all reputable research um, shows that kids come out all right. Mm. And that's, there is research by, for example, discredited Paul Cameron, who's um, right-wing uh, American um, deep-right Christian. And he, yes, his, he also has an agenda, um, which would be quite against the, the kind of supportive research. Okay. All right, Anna, thanks very much indeed. Um, Reverend Sharon Ferguson, if lesbians could make better parents, do we need men at all? Of course we need men, <laughs> and I'm certainly not saying we shouldn't. And, and, and I think one of the things which you, you would find that uh, with a lot of the, the lesbian parents is that they do have a lot of men as, as part of their wider network that are providing those male role models. And, and you know, if, we, we talk, if, if we're talking about history and, and anthropology, the fact of the matter is that until recently, children were brought up in extended families, that there were a number of women who were part of their upbringing, and men were often actually not around around because they were working all sorts of hours or they were off uh, at war or whatever the case may be. So children have been brought up predominantly by women for, for many, many, many years. A couple and of emails on this. Steve says, surely it's the parenting skills of the parents that makes the difference, not their gender or their sexual preference. Kevin from Salt Dean says, as a gay man, I feel it's important to realise that same-sex couples can make equally good parents mm -hmm. as heterosexual couples. It's absurd they can make better parents. All couples are different and have different qualities. And Laura says, I've been brought up by a single father. And he's been the most wonderful, supportive, encouraging and loving parent anyone could wish for. I'm very emotionally secure and happy he has been a mother and father rolled into one. Frederick Clark is from Mighty Men of Valour. Mm -hmm. Frederick, do you feel uh, sidelined uh, in this debate? Well, I, I think the interest in this debate has very, been very interesting. What I think, though, is that most focus should be on the male sperm. Because... Um, we have this campaign called Your Sperm, Your Responsibility, so that men should be encouraged to focus on their own sexual behavior. If men focus on that, then what would happen is that they would, this whole debate would not probably come about. I would say that if men became responsible for their sperm, then every time a child became impregnated or became conceived, what would happen is the child would, the father would then be responsible for that child. They would be, uh, there'd be less, um, payment on or issues on abortion, fostering, adoption, there'd be no um, um, less public spending also. So I think that if men was responsible for their sperm, okay. what would happen is that they would be this issue about who needs to be who needs to take responsibility wouldn't be an issue. There was, no. The gender okay. issue would not carve out. Mm. All right. Um, so Reverend Sharon Ferguson, you started off by arguing lesbians can make better parents. Mm -hmm. You still stand by that? I stand by the principles behind it that what is important for any parenting are, are to have a, a loving, stable environment. And what you find with lesbian parents is that they are more likely to provide that loving, stable environment that does not preclude other couples from providing that or single parents from doing so. And I think what the research has clearly shown is that it's that loving, stable environment that is the important thing. And therefore, couples of any gender can provide that. So please don't discount lesbian parents or gay male parents. And you can continue that debate on our website.